In this problem, we don't know the velocity of P or Q after the collision, but we can use conservation of linear momentum and Newton's experimental law to create two equations with the two unknowns, and then we can solve them simultaneously. This, the answers will be in terms of E, because we don't know the value of E in this question. In part B, we can find an expression for the velocity of P after the collision, uh, again in terms of E, and then if the direction of motion is unchanged, then the velocity of P has to be positive, and that enables us to find this inequality for E. For part C, we're given the magnitude of the impulse, so we could consider either P or Q and use the fact that the impulse is equal to change in momentum for either object. We just need to take into account the direction of the impulse, so the impulse on Q is away from P, and the impulse of P is away from Q, and that's telling us which way is positive in both cases. Newton's law of restitution, or Newton's experimental law, can be applied when an object collides with a surface. It's still the same formula, E equals separation speed over approach speed, and that will then give us, in this case, that E is equal to V over U, which can be rearranged to just V equals EU. In example four, we can apply Newton's law of restitution or Newton's experimental law and just quote V equals EU, remembering that both V and U are separation speed and approach speed, so they both have to be positive quantities. We can find the speed that the object hits the floor with by just applying Suvat equations and with the fact that the acceleration is positive g. We can calculate the rebound speed by considering the object leaving the surface and reaching its greatest height with an acceleration of negative g. And then we can use the fact that during the collision v equals eu to work out the value of e.